Yes, it's been 68 days since a Montana Highway Patrol trooper left Missoula for medical care in Salt Lake City after being critically shot three times in the head and neck. The weeks spent away from his children, his home, and his fellow Highway Patrol colleagues comes to a close. And that journey began today in Salt Lake City. Don Hudson brings us the emotional celebration from the University of Utah Hospital. You have all been so amazing. Without all of you, we wouldn't be able to go home today. Lindsay Palmer choked up as she thanks surgeons for helping her husband survive and begin his recovery after being shot in March. You gave us the fighting chance we needed to get through this. And she thanked the Utah law enforcement community for all their help and support. To each and every one of you who took a watch outside our door, to the continuous times I needed a friendly ear to listen to me talk, someone was always there to lean on. Leadership with the Montana Highway Patrol and Montana's Attorney General also shared their appreciation to the U of U Hospital and the people and police of Utah. I'm not sure that words can ever express the gratitude from the Montana Highway Patrol for this, the help that's been and the support that's been given to him. On behalf of the people of Montana, thank you, Utah. We love you. Tuper Palmer can walk and communicate but he's lost his ability to speak because of the gunshot wound to his head. But those who have been around the 35-year-old for the past couple of months are hopeful he will continue to improve. Wade hasn't left my thoughts. Um, every morning is one of the first things I think of, and every night it's one of the last things I think of before I go to sleep. And um, I'm just so happy that he's in the position he's in today because when this occurred, um, it did not look that promising. After the news conference, Trooper Palmer and his wife were escorted to the airport. They were greeted by the Fraternal Order of Police here in Utah and helped into a private plane to make their return to Montana. A short trip home with a long recovery ahead. I don't know where we would be without everything you have done for us. You made this scary time for my family and myself a little less scary. Now, Trooper Palmer is one of four victims in a mid-March shooting spree that left one dead and three injured. But today, triumph for Palmer's family, the city of Missoula and the state of Montana. Swaths of supporters line the streets from the airport to downtown. Lines especially packed around St. Patrick Hospital, the first place where Palmer was treated after the attack. Many of those supporters, the same people who worked to save his life 68 days ago. Here. to show our support and our thank you for his service and all that kind of mm. stuff, you know. If you could, what would you say to him if you had a chance to say hi? Um, hi, thank you and good luck in your recovery. One of their family members works for St. Pat, so not only is he, uh, this trooper, a member of our community, but his uh, a direct family member is also an employee at St. Pat's. So we've all been keeping, you know, in contact and knowing what his progress is. And so we're super excited to have him coming home today. The procession was more than just the official cars with the troopers party. It's estimated there were as many as 50 patrol cars, fire, medical units and first responders from around western Montana who were involved in the welcome home. The community of Stevensville wanted to show their support for their hometown hero, so they lined the streets leading towards downtown. Many of these people had personal, personal connections to the family, including a few of his daughter's friends who turned out to show their love and support. Many wanting to let the Palmers know that they are not alone in their journey of recovery. Always remember this time and don't worry, it's going to be okay. I hope your dad gets better. Welcome home. Palmer's doctors say he still has a long road to recovery. His fellow law enforcement officers say they will continue to support him in any way they can along his journey.